Hi everyone, Intuitive Healing Quantum Healing. Let's go dive deep in today. Subscribe my channel. Uh, channel. Uh, welcome warmly everyone on my channel. And uh, when you're watching me from the YouTube, definitely, definitely follow me for the monthly, I would like to say monthly newsletter on my website, www.slasgabrielagalasinska.com. And definitely today, oh, sorry. And definitely today, I would like to give you that knowledge and that information straight away because that would be so profound message for some of you. And some of you can be triggered by that, so which is my mission is done already. And some of you will be know that knowledge and that information straight away, straight away. So, are you ready? I am ready. I'm really ready. That message hit me yesterday profoundly as well. And definitely that's why I would like to share with you this message straight away. Let me just only play my website over there. So then you can go and have a look what I'm offering for you. And the link tree also, if you would like to give us some donation or um, support my mission. So I would like to give you two beautiful links. Okay, so let's go dive deep in. How navigate this world? Something is dying. Something is dying. But this would like to say in the physical form? No, because you are moving, you are breathing, you are walking. Something is dying on your energetic level. Okay, so while everything is dying on your energetic level, you can feel this, you can feel that, you can support with this, you can support with that. Stay at the end of the video. I'm going to give you that information. But also, what does that mean for you? If you are not growing, you're dying. That's so simple, isn't it? If you are not growing, you're dying. So that is all about. You need to cultivate and you need to allow yourself each day, each moment to grow. That could be a changes in your day, in the, your routine of the day. And that could be a changes inside yourself. That will be internal changes. Because when you go to change yourself from in, the outside is going to appear in a completely different form. That's happened for me. And that's still happening for me. Because I'm constantly working on myself. I'm constantly working. I'm constantly observing myself. I'm constantly detached myself from my emotions, that reaction, which one is coming straight away and trigger that point inside me from my past. And I'm saying, no, I would like to detach because you've got a free will. You've got that energy inside you. So when you've got that energy inside you, the rest of the stuff doesn't matter. So you can detach yourself very easily if you're willing if you have set the intention, okay, some of you may be saying, oh, that's easy to say. Of course, easy to say, but it's much more challenging to do and much more is challenging to stay in that consistency. It's much more challenging to stay in that energy of the encouragement. You need to have an encouragement inside you. You need to have that faith. You need to have that energy, which one is giving you that direction and giving you that support, okay? Because without that energy, you won't be able to function. Okay, let me just go and dive deep in straight away. If something is dying, what does it really mean for you? You're growing. You're really, really growing. But you're not growing because you are still in the process of the dying. I can give you my story. So my story is around the relationship. My relationship was dying. My relationship with me was dying few years ago my relationship with my partner was dying a few years ago as well because unconsciously we have been triggering ourselves we have been sabotaging ourselves not saying the own truth towards each other that was the indication that was the symptoms dying of the relationship I wasn't able to say my own truth to myself so you can apply everything what I'm saying now to your own world, to your own relationship, or maybe to your own physical situation. So everything was slowly, slowly, step by step was dying. Even we are trying so hard to work on ourselves. Even I tried so hard to work on myself. But constantly I was hitting that wall. Constantly I was just only coming back to that pattern again. I was coming back to the trigger points again. So that's why I would like to give you this, because when you go and just only keep keeping um, and keeping sorry keeping and repeating that pattern all over and over, that's mean you are just only growing for the one moment, 
but at the same moment you are dying. So you're not allowing break through that wall. So I was in that place. I was sabotaging myself. I was putting myself in the low vibration. By the way, Frankenstein is going to increase your vibration and is going to remove all the etheric implants, all the low vibration energy, let's just say like that. Okay, that's the tip for you if you would like to take it. So this is the beautiful Frankenstein oil. You can sniff it, you can spread it everywhere and the low vibration is going through. By the way, coming back, if something is dying, that's mean you're not growing. If something is dying on the energetic level of you, that's mean it's growing. But at the same time, if you not allow yourself to grow, that's mean you are dying. That's true. You are dying because you are not fulfilling your mission. You are dying. I know I'm saying really, really truthful um, information. Maybe some of you are being triggered. So leave me a comment below or subscribe my channel if you would like to. If I'm saying the truth, if I'm speaking the truth, if I'm living my own truth. And if you are living in your own truth, uh, so definitely that's dyingness. That you feel that energy inside you, not fulfillment, sabotaging. Not speaking your own truth. That's why I just only recorded Master Your Emotion, Find Your Own Truth and Live With Your Own Truth. That's a podcast on my YouTube channel. So go and have a look. But if you're watching me from the YouTube channel, just go and watch all the playlists that's available for you completely for free of charge. That's exchange energy, your time. That's all about. Or maybe you can give me some donation. But if something is dying to you, inside you, you will be no. You will be no. You will be feeling that exhaustion. You will be feeling that burnout. You will be feeling that overwhelming. You will be feeling that frustration. You will be feeling anger because somebody will be just only pinpointing something inside you and you will be triggered some spontaneously saying, oh, why did you say that to me? Or how you can? How dare you? Or something like that. That's mean you are dying inside, inside yourself. Your version, your higher version of yourself, you're not allowing your higher version of yourself to come out. Because you are suppressing, you're suppressing your inner knowing, you're suppressing your little, for example, me, little Gabriella, to grow up, to go level up, level up, and level up, and level up, infinitive level ups. So that's transformation, that's transmuting the low vibration energy. The low vibration energy is good for you because you need to know how to use it, how to elevate yourself. So don't say low vibration energy is bad, low vibration energy is bringing me down no your vibration energy every time okay listen to this every time when you feel that low vibration energy inside you that sadness grief depression anxiety any kind of the phobia any fears any scarcity any kind of the things okay then say hallelujah it's amazing so i've got that opportunity to grow Wow, that's so amazing that's so amazing you can go and do for yourself because from that point you can rise up your frequency. You can go much more higher. You can go even much more higher if you allow yourself. So don't sabotage yourself. Don't say, oh my goodness, I can't, I can't, I can't. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Because that, oh, I would like to repeat myself, that low vibration energy is so beautiful. It's so beautiful blessing how you can go and thrive through the life. So being, uh, I would like to say, being in that vib low vibration energy, every time when you feel that vibration, I can tell you in a minute my story, then you can rise up that energy straight away. You are be feeling, oh my goodness, I'm thriving, I'm thriving. It's okay if that minute I'm feeling the lowest, I'm feeling like I'm going to the lowest point of my life. And definitely you will be feeling elevating energy in the next morning because that elevating energy that's happened for me that's happened for me when i was um when i was i would like to say um, actually i was yesterday when i was going through a really challenging time really through challenging time for myself i felt like if somebody would just put the blanket on me and just only suppressed myself. Really, I was dragging myself. I was, I was, I was knowing that energy is going to give me energy of the fulfillment. It's going to give me the energy of uh, happiness. It's going to give me that energy of 
um, greatness. So that energy yesterday was so blessing because I knew it. And also I follow my intuition. I was dying, but at the same time, I knew it. I'm going to elevate myself tomorrow. And that's happened. That's happened. So my energy today is completely different. Because remember, when you're going through that challenging time and when you're going through a really difficult time in your life, remember, sometimes... We